Hey there native fish people, a uh, little update today. The stream tank is back up, it's running. Um, it's in a 40 long now. I took the 40 long that the grass pike were in that was on that shelf there and redid it. Um, I had to do some working. Added some uh, stone pieces, slate. Underneath there's some limestone to help bring the background up because it was a lot shorter. But it's the same background. Just had to do a little bit of modifying. But uh, still got pretty much the same fish in there except for the orange spot and the spot fin. I took them out. They were being real aggressive. Took the flag fish out. They had a flag fisher over here in this little 20 gallon tank. Uh, I got some black sand in there. And just some plants I had, some crypts and some sword plants. Uh, yeah, uh, Anubius, some Java fur. Nope, oh, there's one of them right there. I've only got two left, so uh, yeah, they're, they're just in here. I don't know what to do with them. Might order some more and uh, throw them in the pond this summer. Still got the convict cichlids in the 20 long. I'm gonna get rid of these guys, but I just don't wanna, I don't know what to do. They're really not my thing at all. <laughs> I don't know why I still have them, but anyways, they're there. Uh, the blue shrimp tank. I don't know what there is. Yeah, there's still something in there you can't see. Sorry about the glare. Um, got these guys down here. This is the. Oh, geez, I can't remember what these are. <laughs> the gudgeons? Uh, are they a peacock gudgeon? I can't remember. A rainbow gudgeon, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have to look them up again. These guys are cool. <laughs> They're from New Guinea. Oops. So we can focus on one. Bunch of willow moss. That stuff's growing crazy in this tank. Uh, I got this tank. Still got some scuds and some other stuff in there. Snails. Lots of duckweed. Um, the 180. It's looking better. Um, I had gotten some uh, kabamba or whatever you want to, however you pronounce it. Put it in there. Yeah, the guy I got it from, I got a whole bunch of it, but it's in really bad shape, and most of it just melted and withered away. And this is all I got left. I hope it grows and kicks out of it, filling that corner back there. Got the grass pike in here. There's a small one with the messed up mouth. And then that's the large one back there. Now these guys, I got them at the same time. They were the same size when I got them. But uh, this one, with the messed up mouth just isn't really growing at all and that one back there is like eight and a half inches now and this guy's maybe like six if that uh, I don't know if you can see it in there with the glare but now he was just sitting in there I got the orange spot in there um, he's been attacked once I didn't think he was gonna make it at all because he's quite small to be put in there but I didn't have nowhere else to put him for now not too worried about it he gets eight he gets eight no big deal and I got some minnows in there right now uh, still have the 29 red cherry tank you really need to clean that glass I guess huh <laughs> I got this 10 gallon over here this all I got a bunch of moss in there it's a mix between like java moss and uh, flame moss and peacock moss. There may be even some willow moss in there. I'm still working on the 72. I'm trying to get it stripped. It's kind of hard to do. Work on this so much when you suffer from chronic back pain, but it's coming along. I'm hoping to get it going. I got an idea for it. I want to do a Florida uh, spring tank. And got a pretty cool idea on the scape and everything else, so I'm excited that we really want to get this going. But I just hope the back holds out long enough to do that. 
Got the driftwood soaking in here still. So yeah, it should be able to weigh down. Uh, the 55 that had the fish in it before, now just has some moss. Got some Christmas moss there, some flame moss there, a couple pieces of driftwood. Um, that's about it. So yeah. I haven't been out collecting all at all. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rain. The rivers are super high again. It's kind of depressing. I really want to get out and get some fish for the 180, but haven't been able to. Well, it's been really cold. It like warm up really nice for two days and then get really cold again and the fish just aren't biting. I tried to get some green sunfish the other day and just really didn't happen. But uh, that's it for now. So click the like button, subscribe.